It's hard to fall those suckers. Yeah. There's two of them. Another yeah. bogey. Yeah, yeah. No, just uh, yeah. Maybe we are going to point. They might be yes, doing. They might be, do, they might be doing touch and goes. So you know. I see them going. Yeah. Nonstop. Wow, well, right by the archaeological petroglyphs is the. Yeah. Fallon uh, Air Force Base. Let me catch that F-16. Yeah. That's a touch and go, maybe. Yeah, I think you're right. Is this how he took off in that direction? Or just, okay. Take a break from the... Uh, F-18s or whatever they are. Although you'll be hearing them the whole time. They're like circling around us. And Grimes is right near Fallon. Welcome to Grimes Point Archaeological Area. A little uh, Petrogriff Trail. And if we have time, we'll go up to the cave. So let's go check it out. Oh yeah. That's real. For sure. <laughs> totally different. That's in there. Oh, yeah. Pit, pit and groove, they're talking about. They did something here with that, see. So. That's the oldest style, pit and groove style. Right here? Yeah. How old is that, they say? 7,000 years or more. Holy smokes. Over here, a little something too. Yeah, the. Uh, oh, look at all the dots up top. Yeah, yeah, and and, and it, even in through here, here's an, here's the thing here. Wow. It's like squeezing the line. Oh man, yeah, these guys are really. Uh, Total swiggy line. And, and these these are something here, these uh Yeah, again some of those indentations. Yeah. Alright, let's keep rolling, right? Sure. Marks of time. Another one of those, those, those kind of hook things. Wow, that, that we saw over at the other one. Like a hook. He's got a certain sort of animal head, huh? Yeah, maybe, huh? Here's the original photograph. You'll see it's rather bleached out from the sun. You'll see, okay, it looks like some kind of figure with a head, some arms. Over when you open up in Photoshop and you manipulate the color not the image itself, but just the color and the tone and the shadowing and all that, this is what you get. And you see it comes to life as almost like a wiggly line, like a serpent-like figure with a bird head. I'm calling this bird band for right now. 
You'll see this also comes to life over here. We have like a sun, double sun. So this is very interesting, and it, we'll get into this deeper in another video. But the Birdman, this is like representing the Milky Way heading into Cygnus or ascending into heaven. And other people have studied this and claimed that there was a lot of night watchers, as they were called, and probably shaman and other people as well would look at the night sky. And when certain events would happen, they would chisel them into the, into the, into the stone, into the rock, like you see here. So anyway, very interesting how this Birdman comes to life here. And you see it has a much more of a, you know, presence than the original photograph. Weird. Bunch of those grooves again, you know? Yeah. And, uh... Oh, right here, look at his hand, Pat. Let me see. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. There you go, that's a big old hand. See, huh? that's a five uh, digit. Yeah. That's amazing, man. Look at that big old thing. And and, it, well, and that's it, a big hand, actually. And, and it comes down into some kind of yeah other thing. I uh, uh, look above you, Pat, right here. Like a yellow, like a oh no, like a oh yeah, right there. Beige color. Pretty wild. Wow, that was wild. Okay, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Like a little bonus action. Yeah. Somewhere here there was graffiti from some a-hole. Well, there's, there's probably, yeah. Uh, uh, and, and I remember. But it doesn't look as bad as that last site we were at. No. No, this is pretty People good. People are being a bit respectful out this way. Oh, look to the left, a whole bunch of... Yeah, there you go, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's some That's that, there you go. Two circles with a line. Well, there gonna... you go, there's the lines. Yeah, there was Somebody definitely a form, of, a form of something. I mean, all the way over here. Yeah. That's the same job. Pretty wild. From modern to ancient. <laughs> right. And flight check. And and fly check, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm sure those guys fl fly check before flying. Oh, David, wait till you see this one. Oh, yeah. I, I, this pre is, should I prepare myself? Yeah, yeah, really. I mean, because this is something that we've always seen. We have, a, like, so there's something that we see where we, why we see this everywhere we go, I don't know, but here it is. Well, hold on oh. a second. <laughs> this is, this is it. This is it. Oh, wow. The Jesus. That's it. Well, it's not the wheel, but it's similar to the Jesus Pretty symbol. Pretty on close. Eight-pointed. Uh, yeah. Wow. Good eye, Pat. Yeah, what Pat's talking about is the ichthys symbol where the word ichthys in Greek is spelled out, which means fish, and they form uh, this you know, secret symbol, which fits into the, um, the circle symbol, which we basically just saw the eight-pointed star with a circle around it. And you find this all around the world in ancient sites. We saw it in Greece, Turkey, and Rome. Amazing. Line action. Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. Hard to get them. Yeah, you can uh, adjust the tone and all that later. Yeah. Right. Uh, 
beachfront property. Yeah, that lake, that dry lake we saw out there was once uh, right up here. I can't believe that we were at Love Lock. I mean, like, with you, like, I mean, whatever, 10 days ago or something. Yeah. Look at this one in through here. I mean, it's kind of faint. Oh, yeah. It's like a That's cup. A one, yeah. Or And there's some lines on top of it. It's a big one, too. Pretty big one, yeah. It's hard to see. It almost looks like a fish underneath there somehow. View of the air base down there now. The uh, squiggly circle oh, yeah. symbol. That's a good one. Like a sun. Good, good eyeball, David. And there's one to the right of it too, I think. Yeah, there's something and something on top. Yeah. The, oh yeah. A bunch of stuff going on. Yeah, here. there's a bunch of stuff. Yeah. All right, so let me get out of the way. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, the shadows are a little oddball. Difficult. A lot of scribbles, but up top here. Let me just get that. It's. I guess another sun. It's hard to say. And then there's some. Oh, there's. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here, David. And these are old, like you said, seven thousand years. They they're older than the last ones we saw. Went well, no, on. Have to play with the contrast and see what some of this stuff is, or could be but this uh, this uh, circle sim symbols uh, together I heard that the circle symbol with the line through it is a dart thrower now yeah maybe that means a spear throw because it's big I have no idea I have no idea where they got that dart thrower story from but uh, that's a big one and the rock uh, cracked in half or in, in a quarter what about right here is there something here This one, maybe not. I mean, it's hard to read. That's a hard one. Maybe. I think there's something there, yeah? Yeah. All right. Maybe we go back on the road, huh? on the trail. Um, uh, the trail's here, right? Here. Oh, okay. Right here. Wow, sure. this was, this, this, uh, a, uh, uh, a, uh, four by eight. I wonder what the heck this was here. Most... A whole bunch of stuff was here. Yeah. Well, probably had information about these kick-ass rocks right here. Yeah, huh? Because there's a lot going on. Right. So, they just, you know, probably had some there, interpretation. There, there's something there. There's something here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's those circle symbols again. Game trails. Oh, game. Oh, they would like hang out and wait for the yeah, sure, why not, you know? Gotta eat. But if this is not a snake with a snake head, then I don't know what is, you know? And there's that upside down upside peace down sign. peace sign again. The same one. Yeah, upside you know, down though. 400 miles away from here down in. Uh, Actually, David, I think it's more, I don't know if it's a peace sign, I think it's, it's more of a uh, cross inside a circle. Yeah, yeah. As far as this thing But goes. it's a little upwards, the, the, the left and right side are a little up, upwards, just like on the other, uh, Yeah, well. down in, uh, where was that again? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, there's something up here, too. Oh, yeah. Pretty wild. It's a petroglyphs area here. And then over here in the distance is uh, Fallon Air Force Base. And we just saw F-16s taking off and flying around. Pretty cool. We're here at the right time of day, though, if you ask me. I think it is. It is, yeah. I'm just curious. Well, it's this one. Where? Well, it's just a big rock. I'm just curious. Oh. See, look, at that's uh, graffiti. Yeah, where you see that? There. Oh yeah, that's graffiti. That's too bad. But not as much here as that last place we were at. 
Okay, cool. I guess we did it. Well, it's not quite done. Oh, it's not quite done yet? Okay, cool. I oh, know, it's not done at all. This is a big sight. Hard to get that one, though. Yeah, a bunch of, a bunch like of something. There's a square knows. thing. All right, cloth hats. Um, it's like an old, uh, well, it's just an old road leading up to the uh, air, air base there. Get a lot of straight roads out these parts. Oh yeah, certainly something. Well, here's that squiggly lines up here. If I remember correctly, there was somebody that actually painted something, which was really, is that something there? Yeah, sure. Look, it's a big person-like thing with a huge head. Yeah, huh. A humanoid with an exaggerated head. Now, is that just bad art, or is that actually telling us something? You be the judge. Looks like you lost the top of whatever it was. Or is it something otherworldly? Oh, yeah, there you go. I don't know. You get me thinking again, huh? Yeah, I do, yeah. Well, let's go Why check not? out these squiggly lines. Yeah, I mean, this this lines. trip has me thinking a lot, I gotta tell you. Okay, yeah, no kidding. The squiggly lines, yeah. That's a river, man. The river running the through. The river? Yeah. Me, yeah. Yeah, that was more like a river than a snake, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Look at this one here on the left. Wow. That's a key to the keyhole portal. That's an interesting that one. That looks like some kind of a uh, really keyhole portal. Interesting. Yeah, they're talking about it right here. Well, the, the jets are doing circles up above us. Literal. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. I mean, we're talk about. Uh... I mean, feel kind of safe. <laughs> here, here are here are the dimples. There's a lot of dimples. Oh, the here. dimples again. Yeah. So these old dimples, they're they're old forms of graffiti before even figurines. Pretty amazing, the dimples, though. I mean, that's a pretty neat little form of, or expression. Well, where they would be kept for a longer time, even. Yeah. This is a cool rock. Let me get a picture. Circles in a, what would you call it, a fish-like? Hard to say. It's and there's hard. some other circles on the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. That's hard to say. But that is an interesting one, right next to this one. You want me to take a picture or something? Yeah, yeah. Now, if that's not cool, I don't know what it... Look at those things. Yeah, that's, um... I think those are... Eight, they might be 16th. I don't see no, they have two there. fins on the back, two tails on the yeah, back. but they're not like so. Oh, okay. They got I, like I don't this know. way. They're, out, they're straight up and down, so those are 16s. Okay, yeah, I don't I know. I think so. Okay. That the ones that are... Let's keep on rolling. I mean, it's so surreal looking at these ancient petroglyphs and having these super modern aircraft whiz over your head. Amazing. What's going on over here now? <laughs> There's a lizard on that rock there. You could you could focus in on a, a lizard. Yeah, see the one on the far rock. Oh, you're oh yeah, you're right. he does like it a real lizard. Yeah, yeah. If we pass him, he'll know and he'll get. Some. Well, I can't focus in on, but can't. I can't see with the sun. I couldn't I couldn't yeah, that's get those. Too bad, well, we'll see him in the vid a little bit. I can get a picture of him. Cool. I thought you were talking about ancient yeah, ancient hydroglyphs, well, uh, petroglyphs. You know, Hydroglyphs. Yeah. Cool, thanks. Yeah. Wow, this is wild. 
and great weather to boot. Yesterday, it's, I mean, this morning it was 11 degrees and snow everywhere, like a, a coating. Not right, not here, a couple hours away. Whoa, another bogey. Oh yeah, that's a good one. And the other one we were at, what was the other name of the other one? Yeah, um, the other one that we were at, exactly. Lovelock compared to Grimes here at Fallon, compared to, uh, uh, well, I guess it's called uh, Mount Irish Petroglyph site. It's large. Detailed artwork. Sound like he aborted landing. It's very detailed, but it's hard to discern. It's hard to understand. Oh, you're right. There's a lot of dots again, though. There's dots, there's lines, there's curves. lines, curves. There's really a lot. A little bit of everything. Yeah, it, but it's not that readable. Another bogey. They're coming one after the other. Yeah. They gotta start doing some tricks. It's getting a little, bo a little bit boring. Come on, guys. That Big divots on that one. Here they come again. Bye for it. Here. Well, there's a few things. There's things that we've seen before in other locations. Mm-hmm including uh, the sun uh, with the uh, rays oh, yeah. coming yeah. out. Concentric circle with the rays coming out. Yeah. Exactly the same almost. Yeah. And yeah. And, and, so, yeah. and this looks like an architectural thing of some sort, like a building. I like, a, like a ladder? A ladder maybe, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you get this almost a symbol of peace again, an Indian. Well, and yeah. there's an animal down below right. Yeah, yeah, and uh, the 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 three. Um, oh yeah, the three claw thing back three there. Three claw thing back there. Yeah. Interesting. So, yeah. So there's a lot of similarities. There sure is. That's a yeah. Uh, it's got some kind of command thing on, like a, some kind of satellite it dish. It does. It does. I'm with you. All kind of action out here. Jay would love it out here. <laughs> Uh, Unanswered questions. Scholars yeah. and archaeologists still debate the mystery and meaning of the rock engravings. That's what they all say. Where the artist was depicting stars in the sky, hunting, ritual practices, or something entirely different is unknown. What is obvious is that petroglyphs are fragile remnants of people who lived here long ago. I didn't see this ago. one, David, right behind you. The one on the right. Oh, yeah, you're right. See, you know, the claw thing going. On. Yeah, you're totally right. A little bit on the right there and some more stuff. Yeah, I did not see that is for sure. And like Pat just said, you gotta like sometimes turn around and look because all of a sudden you see some behind you that you didn't see. Pretty amazing. And with the backdrop of this Air Force base just makes it double incredible. All right, I guess that was it. I mean, you can take this overlook trail, but we, we're gonna try to hit the caves up maybe. We'll do this another time. Oh, another one, Pat, coming in. Man, they had a lot of them out there flying. A lot of sorties going on. That's so cool. They're all different aircrafts. Well, it's a dream, you know, looking at squiggly lines and watching airplanes you know, fly over your head, putting on a show, basically, without meaning it. So I definitely recommend visiting this site. Don't know if the aircraft will be here for you, but the, the petroglyphs alone are worth it if you're out this way. Or if that's your thing, definitely worth a visit. And you walk, you walk up into and through here, and these are all the, you know, the main, the main sites. There's, there's probably more. Boy, that you know, there's a lot. And the caves are back over here. It actually says Grimes Point. And the air base is over there. And just so you get an idea, this is uh, Fallon is uh, south of uh, Carson City by a couple hours, which is, uh, oh, sorry, it's not south. It's more like uh, east, east, northeast. And Lovelock's up here where we have another video going into the Leonard's Rock Shelter, which was also amazing.
totally different, even though it's, it seems relatively close, but I guess back then it was pretty far away. Both by the uh, Piot uh, Indian, Indians, as far as I know, Native uh, Indigenous uh, Americans. And uh, that's where it was. That's where it is. So these are just natural caves, not mining. Uh... Uh, I think the Indians live there and stuff. Oh wow! That yeah. Who just made the petroglyphs over yeah. there? Yeah. yeah I, think they, I think they did. That's a good place to live. That's for sure. Neighbors were a little less uh, noisy back then, I guess. And um, yeah, to the right, huh? Yeah. Yeah, right up there. Yeah. Exactly. And then and then there's something right right in the middle. Okay. Yeah, like see, the, see right there, to the middle, right. Oh yeah. Right on that. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a, a loop that yeah. you go around. Yeah. It's it looks like, really cool. From, from what I remember. It looks really fun. Yeah. It, it's it is. But it, uh, it's definitely worth. We it. got ready for the next, uh, you know, right. Operation Freebird. Let's roll. That's right there. Clouds must have been a big part of uh, the Native Americans, uh, you know, daily intake, so to speak. It's amazing when the jets aren't flying, the silence here is incredible. <laughs> 